Okay, um, trying to sit under my lamp. I know my lighting isn't always the best. <clears throat> Anyways, um, I was listening to this song, uh, by Leanna Lewis, um, called Better in Time. Basically, the song is about someone who she really cares for, but she's not necessarily in a situation with him that's healthy, you know, to the person that she wants to be. And um, even though she cares for him deeply, she feels like, you know, she'd be better without him. And the process of getting over him, you know, it, it hurts. But, you know, like they say, time heals all wounds. And it made me realize that. Sometimes love is like a sore, you know, a, a scrape, a cut, or a gash, you know, depending on how deep you're in. And sometimes you try to put a band-aid on it, you know, try to cover it up, hide the hurt. And sometimes by putting that band-aid over what's really bothering us, you make things worse. And sometimes you just have to snatch it off through that pain, that tenderness for a little while, so you can heal, you know, and I, I kind of believe that that's where I am right now, but the reason um, that I'm conflicted is that I think, I don't know if, if I'm in a place where it's going to go downhill and I should cut my losses now. Or this is the worst part and it's going to get better, you know. I'd hate to, to, to end something that could be great, you know. Sometimes in the beginning you have to, you have to fight, you know, for what you want. You have to be there, you know, you have to be understanding and you have to be patient and I want to be that person, you know, for him. I want to be loving and loyal, you know, and caring. And and more than anything, I want to be understanding. I'm trying my best to understand the situation. And I'm just feeling sad. I, w I want to say neglected, but I don't feel neglected. I mean, we talk every day. Um... And he constantly, you know, lately, you know, constantly is telling me, you know, how he feels and, and everything. And, and his reasons are, I mean, they're logical reasons. I mean, it it makes sense to put things on hold um, because of the circumstance. But at the same time, a part of me is wondering... Originally, a part of me was thinking he's just trying to let me down easy, you know, just making up excuses to not be with me. Um, but now I feel like he's genuine. I believe what he says. But obviously with recent events, things don't always work out as planned. And I mean, even in waiting... It's not like I'd be losing a whole lot of time. I'm only 20. It's not like I'm 30, you know, and I'm waiting around. But I definitely don't want to be um, 30 still wanting to get married. I don't want to be engaged for five years or have a boyfriend for six years with two kids and we're still not married. Um, I don't want to be anybody's baby mama ever. Um, you can dress that up however you like by using synonyms, um, but it is what it is, and I just don't want that for me, um, which I should probably throw that out there because it's very important to protect yourself, ladies and gentlemen, um, it's not optional, it's mandatory, and if he or she does not respect and value your life enough to use it each and every time, you should. Um, now that I've said my piece and given out that little public service announcement, um, back to my dilemma, I just, um, confused. But I figured, you know, I'm young, I have plenty of time to figure it out, 
and just, you know, do my thing, you know, <laughs> whatever makes me um, happy in the moment. The only problem with that is that that's not me. <laughs> it really isn't. I mean, I've been thinking about being a wife and a mother since I was like 12. 